I'm, I'm redoing a video that I made last night. I pulled it down, I watched it this morning, and I was not to the, I didn't cut to the quick. I didn't explain it real well. I didn't articulate it real well. And I want to, and I think it's, it's worthy of a redo, okay, because it's that important. I'm going to start out first asking one question. If you could only work on your pool table, practice on your pool table for 30 minutes in a day, and you knew in, in two weeks that you would improve in your game dra uh, drastically, now I'm talking about improving your game, would you do it? Would you do it? Of course you would. I'm going to explain to you and simplify it. Because our schedules are so busy. Some of you, I'm lucky, I can put in three, four, five, six hours a day, no problem. But some of us can't do that. We have obligations, we have family, we have business. You know, we're busy. We all are busy, okay? I have those things too, but I'm able to somehow fit in the needed time that I think I need to put in on the table to improve my game. So just think of it in 30 minutes. If you can take and assess your game and find the weakest area of your game, is it position play? Is it a shot that you can't make? Whatever it is, and get on the table and set up the ball to make that shot over and over again for 30 minutes, in two weeks, that shot is mastered. And you, you can now move on to the next weak spot in your game. That's the whole point. Find the time to put in that 30 minutes to address an area of your pool game that you just know you're inconsistent on or you can't get by. Once you do that, you're going to have that one mastered, and it's going to be part of your repertoire. Now, let me get into what I did on one drill that made all the difference for me. And before I explain this, I want to give thanks to Scott Bocci, because without meeting him and him conversing and taking his time to help me on my channel, I probably, I know, not probably, I know I would not have even been to the point I, I'm at today in that I can run nine ball racks, because that was my goal. I figure if you can run nine ball racks, you could play this game, okay? There's still lots to, to learn, but that's a big step. What he, what it started out with with me is, uh, and, and how I met him, is I had a, a stroke drill that I had posted, and he had commented on, uh, and it was a helpful comment, so I took that to heart and I, and I made the adjustment and it worked, okay? Well then later he, uh, he introduced me to a drill, a simple drill. And at first it was difficult, but I, I worked on it for you know, about a half hour, 30 minutes, maybe an hour you know, at a time per day. Didn't do that drill all day long, just, just a little bit of time every day. And I got better at that drill. And then he gave me another variation of it that was a little more difficult, and the third one that was a little more difficult, and that's the one I want to talk about. It's my 9-10 drill, or I should say Scott's 9-10 drill. You can look it up. I have it posted. Um, I've got a, it's a pool ball. It's just a 9 ball and a 10 ball sitting there on the, on the thumbnail. You can see what it, uh, the intro to the, to the drill. Now I'm going to explain what, why this 30 minutes per day for a couple of weeks works. That drill for me, not, I not, did not know this going in. I didn't even know this was really a weak area of mine because I was that scattered in the game. I didn't really know. That drill taught me how to use multiple rails. And one of the things with Scott I noticed when he would play, I'd watch him play his ghost uh, nine ball runoffs, and I, I, was, I, was, I would marvel at the simplicity of how he could manipulate the cue ball without what seemed to be without power. But he was using spin on the cue ball. And I had no idea of this. I mean, I, I was pretty much a bottom and a top ball hitter, center ball hitter. Rarely used side spin. Rarely used it. I was just an average player. I, you know, I was more of a shot maker, but I didn't know how to really manipulate the cue ball. So that drill had that, had, it made me do that, okay? I had to play position, I'm making one of the balls to get to the other. I couldn't overhit it, 
because if I overhit it, I couldn't have a shot, I wouldn't have a shot to be able to continue the run of the two balls, okay? Not only did I, it teach me how to uh, finesse that cue ball with spin, but it also it taught me how to make spot shots because spot shots are so uh, common in, in any run out. There, there's small versions, there's longer range shot, spot shots, but they're always there. All of a sudden, spot shots that used to petrify me became hangers. I could make them all the time. And I could also make them with spin-induced throw. And I found that spin, spinning the cue ball, you know, with running spin helped me pocket the ball. That was all of that drill, okay? It also taught me how to use inside spin and long inside spin shots, okay? Before, I wouldn't even attempt them because I would, I would miss. I would miss all the time. I couldn't do it. But that drill showed me the light. It showed me how to make that shot. So that's my point. Find a weak area of your game. Mine was getting a multiple rail position to another ball, making a cut shot that, it was, that petrified me, and uh, I worked on a drill to get by that. I mastered it. I mastered the drill. And it didn't take long, a couple weeks. Uh, I remember Scott saying to me, he says, hey man, if you can run, you know, I think it was 10 in a row at the beginning. And he knew I was, was, I was struggling, he knew. And he says, well, if you could do five in a row. I says, no, nah, bull crap, I'm not gonna back down. I, if, you, if you think it, it takes 10 to master this, I'm gonna go for 10. And I exceeded 10, okay? I remember the very first drill, the, the first variation of that drill, which was more simple, just spot to spot. I think he told me I need to make 10 in a row and, I, and then he backed that one down to seven or something because I was struggling early on. I said, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with it. I did 23 straight, okay? And it didn't take long, within a couple weeks. I now today know that my game is that much stronger just because of those, those two drills I just mentioned. Specifically, more specifically, is a 9-10. Look, look it up and, and practice it. I'm telling you, it's gonna help your game. Um, anyway, that's the point. Just put in 30 minutes a day, find it. Find your 30 minutes, balance your time with your family and your, your job or whatever, and I guarantee you that your game is going to improve. And, and, and once you do this, I want you to do this for me too, if you would. Come back in, 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 to this video or the 910 drill video if you find that, and make a comment and tell me how it worked for you. I guarantee you'll say, man, that guy was spot on. That really works. Simple man. I just wanted to share it. I want to redo the video to make it more, uh, cut more to the quick so you can kind of understand it e more easily. And uh, bottom line is you got to be on the table on a daily basis. It's, you know, if it's only for a half hour, okay? If you can do more, great. If you can't, you got to get at least the 30 though, okay? You can't go once every week or two weeks on the table and expect, expect to get good at this game. But address your weak area, find a drill that uh, helps that weak area and do that 30 minutes for a week, two weeks, and I guarantee you, you're gonna see improvement, and you're gonna gain, your game is going to become turbocharged, and you're gonna have that in your repertoire, move to the next uh, weak area of your game and do the same thing. Just duplicate it over and over, and eventually you're gonna have a pool game that's so strong, you won't be beat, okay? The friends you have, you're gonna be like, what the heck, how'd, how'd you do this? You're gonna impress them big time, okay? All right, that's all I wanna say. If you have any questions, and leave them in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, become a subscriber to our channel here, my channel. And I'm looking forward to giving you more advice in the future and showing you more of uh, how to play this game. Okay, take care guys. <laughs>